Hey everyone. Um, I just thought I'd make this video because um, I've noted recently while going for boss logs and drop logs that people's understanding and perception of drop rates and luck is flawed in most cases. Even people that are um, mathematically um, well educated um, have I mean, don't give it enough thought. Uh, and so they make uh, incorrect assum assumptions about luck. So um, just to um, pique your interest, I'm going to ask you a question and, and then I'll answer it myself, but you can pause the video and think about it and then let me know or think about it in your head and then we'll move on basically. So let's say that the drop rate for item A is... One in one thousand. Now, let's say you get the drop at nine hundred KC. My question to you is are you lucky or are you unlucky? You can pause the video now. Okay, so um you are actually unlucky. So what is unlucky defined as, right? It's a subjective thing. Um, so let's say that uh, lucky is basically you're on the, the lucky 50% of the people that get the um, drop. And then you get the unlucky 50% who are in, you know, have to get more Casey to get that drop. So if, you're, if I asked you if you're on the lucky or the unlucky side, 900 Casey is the unlucky side actually um uh now what about 800 casey now this is also the unlucky side 700 casey still actually the unlucky side how do i know this how do i know this um and why am i saying this um because of how probability works essentially so um, I'm going to move on to an explanation which may be a little bit difficult to understand if you're not mathematically oriented. But um, how, uh, what, what is the, ch to calculate the chance of getting an item, um, you must calculate what is the chance of not getting an item for every single roll until that KC, um, and then take that away from one. So for example, if you, let's say, do 900 KC uh, and you don't get the drop at all for 900 KC. So what is the chance of not getting a drop? That's basically 999 over 1000, right? As opposed to 1 in 1000 for getting the drop, 999 over 1000 is the chance of not getting the drop. Now that to the power 900 is the chance of not getting the drop because what this to the power 900 means this times itself 900 times. Okay, obviously you're not gonna do that in your head, you're gonna use a calculator to figure this out, but that's what this means, right? For 900 times, you're not getting the drop. What is the chance of that happening? So this is the chance of not getting the drop, right? Because you haven't got another drop for 900 kills, and that's the chance per drop of not getting the drop. So, calculator. 999 divided by 1000 is this number here is 0 0.999 so that's what this number is and that is now to the power 900 to the power 900 what do we get 0 0.406 let's write that down okay now remember i said one minus this is the chance of getting the drop. So I've just rounded this, but 1 minus 0 0.406 is equal to, uh, let's write that down, 0 0.594. 9, now, what does this number mean? What does 0 0.594 mean? That is basically the chance of getting it. You just have to multiply it by 100 
and you'll get the percentage chance, right? So the decimal then goes two spots like this and you get 59.4%. That is the chance that you will get the drop by 900 KC. So you have more than a 50% chance of getting the drop by 900 KC before you even reach the 1000 KC drop rate thingy, right? So this is where people think that um, you're actually un uh, on the lucky side just because this number is less than the drop rate number. But that's not how probability works. You have to do this calculation and figure out exactly how unlucky you are. So the next thing, uh, the next thing is uh, that you need to determine that we want to determine now is using a concept called logarithms. You want to understand how to uh, figure out what what is the fifty percent mark, right? So, a bit more complex math. So nine. Well, it's not complex, but it might be complex if you haven't been uh, if you have not, not really done much maths in there. But if you've done math, this is going to be you know peanuts. Um, okay, so at, su at some random KC, that is going to equal a number that when you take that number away from 1 minus that number, it's going to be 0. 0.5. And if you think about it, 0. 0.5, when you take 0. 0.5 away from 1, you get 0. 0.5. So basically, what is a 50% chance of not getting the drop? Because a 50% chance, you, you can get the drop is the same as 50% chance of not getting the drop, right? It's sort of, you know, they sort of even up, even up, right? So 50% chance of not getting the drop means 50% chance of getting the drop, right? Here in this case, it's a 40.6% chance of uh, not getting the drop, which means there's a 59.4% chance of getting the drop. These two add up to give you one. But when you want to find the halfway mark, the point at which you know, the unlucky, the uh, point at which it becomes uh, unlucky that you didn't, uh, 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 for you that you didn't get the drop, it's 0. 0.5. How do you work out this equation? So something, 999 to, to over 1000, it's not 900, we know that, because that's a 40.6. So it must be a smaller number than this, for this to be 0. 0.5. What is this number? How do you work it out? This is where you use logarithms, right? So x equals, Actually, before we do that, I might go a little bit slower. Now, you need to understand logarithms. You must understand how logarithms work. And if you haven't done logarithms, you're not going to follow this. But you just have to trust that I'm doing the correct maths here. So x log, this is me solving this equation. Zero point, this is 0 0.999, remember? So 0 0.999 is equal to log of... 0.5, okay, log 0.5, right? What I've done is put logarithms on both sides, log on this side, log on this side. When you do logarithms on this side, the x here can end up like here, x log 0 0.9. So that solving this, then you get x equals log. The purpose of log, log this log thing, is to get rid of this power and bring it down to like around the, these these numbers. Um, it makes it easier to solve. So log, the answer to this is log 0 0.5 over log 0 0.99. Now you don't need to understand exactly how logarithms work, but if you just copy this for any other situation in the game, you're going to be able to figure out what the this x value is for any drop rate. So if it's 2000, you can figure it out. If it's 4000, you can figure it out. You just have to adjust the numbers here, right? So x equals log 0 0.5. So log, oops, I have to type in the value first. Log 0 0.5, and then if we log it, we get minus 0 0.301. So minus 0 0.301 divided by, now what's this one? Log 0 0.999. Let's try that. Log, sorry, oops. 0 0.999 and the log of that is this. Um, you have to know how to write, uh, you, uh, this is calculated notification, but that is basically, I might, I might use desk pins to keep this number up actually. Good. Okay, so that is actually minus 0 
zero, 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 another zero. Uh, yep, and then four, three, four, five. Okay, round it up a little bit, but yeah. Now, we got to divide this by this, right? So let's do it. The minuses cancel out. So it's just this divided by this. So 0 0.301. Oops, let's cancel everything first. 0 0.301, yep. And then divided by 0 0.0004345. Six hundred and ninety two point seven five is the value of x. So if you if if you were to do a rough rounding, it's you can say it's six hundred and ninety, and which is funnily sixty nine percent of one thousand. Six hundred ninety, right? Sixty nine percent of that. So that's the that's the KC, 692 to be exact, but 690 to round it. That is the KC at which you, which 50% of people would have gotten the drop by. And then another 50% of people will go beyond that. Okay, and what is this number called, right? What is this 50-50 cutoff number called? The correct term for that is median. It's not the average, actually. It's actually called the median. But do you see how now the median is the more relevant term that you should use to describe luck? It's not average. The average is actually 1,000 because if you add up all the people that got this drop and you average out their KC, the KC average is going to be 1,000, right? But that's a meaningless number, that 1,000. It's the median that you care about. You want to know whether you're in that lucky 50% or you're in the unlucky 50%. Um, and why is it that the average is so uh, so high, but the median is like only 690 cases, you might be wondering, right? Because think about the people that go really dry and get 4,500 or something. Uh, and look at the person that's got one KC, right? The people that go really unlucky really pull this number very, very, very far up. But the one KC person can't really pull the number further down beyond one KC, they can't go to, you know, well, you can get zero KC pets, but you, you can't go below zero KC to minus one, minus two, to really further, you know, equate the big gap that's created by the really unlucky people. So the unlucky 50% that go about 690 KC, you get such big numbers that you, if you average out their KC, they get 1,000, you get the 1,000 average. But really, the 50% cutoff or 50% of people will get this drop by 690 KC. And then another 50% will go beyond this 690 or 692 KC. I hope this video makes sense. Um, and uh, I might elaborate on this a little bit more in future videos. Thanks for watching.